Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Kazim from Dragon Blogger, back again with another video. And today we're looking at something special that we don't often have a chance to test it on our channel or website. Today we're going to look at the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro motherboard. If it's not clear by the name yet, this motherboard is aimed towards the cryptocurrency miners running multi-GPU setups. Since recently, Bitcoin is getting in the highlights again. Buster saw this as the best opportunity to launch this motherboard in the market. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this motherboard has to offer. So right on top of the box, we have the Biostar logo, Intel B250 chipset mentioned. Yep, this is a 7 gen motherboard. Then we have this huge pro written in the middle, accompanied by the initial model name of the motherboard here. An audio art capacitor and tough power enhanced mentioned here. On this side, once again, we have the model name, logo, and the supported chipset mentioned. Same here, but we also have an information sticker and made in China written here this time. Just simple pro here, and logo model and chipset here. Back here is where the good stuff at. Some features like audio art capacitor, tough power enhance, supports PCIe M.2, and has super lens search protection. Below we have a picture of the motherboard along with pointers showing off different parts of the motherboard. Well let's go ahead and open this up. This is what you'll see on the top. Two SATA cables. The IO shield or the input output shield on the side. A user manual and a CD for the drivers and utilities. Underneath this cardboard is where the motherboard lies, wrapped in an anti-static bag. And this is your Biostar TB250 PTC Pro cryptocurrency mining motherboard. That's a long name. The PCB is black as most motherboards now, but it also looks very neat. Also, the yellow accent of RAM slot and the only PCIe X16 slot looks very cool. Let's check out the motherboard from this side. So here we have two PS2 ports for keyboard and mouse, a DVI-D port for display, two USB 1.5 port, wait what, 1.5? Well yeah, these ports only provide 1.5 volt and has no data signal. It's only for charging devices like headphones, Bluetooth devices, etc. Then we have four USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and the LAN port. For audio, we have these three ports. Down here, we have the front audio pins, comms 1 pins, second system fan pins, should be one above, CMOS or BIOS reset pins, then we have the front USB 3.0, then 2.0 first, second, and finally the front panel pins here. Over here we have about 6 SATA 3 and 24 pin ATX connector. That's good enough for cryptocurrency storage I guess. And over here we have the CPU fan pins and the first system fan pins. And the 8 pin ATX connector of course. Now let's have a look at the middle of the body. So this is where the processor goes, shielded to protect the pins. Then we have a heatsink over here, feels pretty solid and sturdy. And we have another heatsink over here on the south bridge, got Biostar written over it, feels pretty solid and sturdy as well. Over here we have this SATA power port, not sure what it does at the moment, but we'll discuss about it in the written review. Then we have the PCI Express M.2 slot here, supports three different modules. And over here we have a plethora of PCI slots. We have one PCI X16 and one, two, three, four, five PCI X1 slots. That sum up to a total of six slots, which means you can run up to six GPUs at a time with this motherboard for mining purpose. We also have two dedicated aux power connector right on the motherboard. One at the bottom and one above the first PCI slot. The audio art capacitors can be found here, four in total. 
As for memory goes, it supports up to 32 GB of DDR4 RAM in total and a speed up to 2400 MHz. The speed rating may increase with BIOS update in the future I guess. And lastly, I've seen this on many motherboards, even in the one I am using in the main system right now. Here is a LED strip embedded right into the PCB. It's not RGB and probably glows in only single color and yellow at that in my guess. Well, we'll see later on. As for the back, nothing special, just the solder dents and the CPU socket backplate. So that's about it I guess. This was the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro motherboard. I will be doing a brief written review on it soon on dragonvlogger.com. Don't forget to check that out. I'll be back with more content soon. Ahmed Kasim out.